In the summer of 1991, XETV Fox Channel 6 commissioned eight San Diego aerosol artists to paint a series of murals highlighting the new fall season. The artists included Chris Saki Kinney, Richard G. Martinez, Jesse Bust Juan Ortiz, Ivan Vapor Obancho, Jason Ciro Saiz, Jay Dice Smith, Ken Quasar Thompson, and Mike Chino Wicker. Ranging in age from 16 to 24, these artists are helping to bring street art into the public eye. Working on the sound stage at Four Square Productions in National City, the artists began by sketching their designs with spray paint. Consuming detail work follows. Depending on how intricate the design is, a wall can take anywhere from a few hours to many days to complete. For the Channel 6 murals, the artists use spray cans equipped with various nozzles. Softballs are nozzles from aerosol glass cleaners which give a softball-sized spray pattern. Phantoms are spray tips taken from model paints and fixatives and offer more control. Skinny caps are carved from spray can lids and have tiny openings to allow for a fine line to be sprayed. These artists prefer Krylon spray paint and each mural required dozens of spray cans. Krylon, which supports the constructive use of its products, donated more than 40 cases of paint for the Fox Channel 6 project. I, I feel like this is the, an excellent opportunity. With this going to be airing on TV, it's going to expose the general public to something that they've closed their eyes to and have condemned, and now it's coming over the airwaves. And it's something that a lot of people have only heard about but haven't seen, you know, firsthand. And by them seeing it firsthand, hopefully this will open up a few new avenues you know, maybe one or two more jobs. These aerosol artists refer to themselves as writers, and their piecing or painting of a wall is in a completely different league from the graffiti left behind by young vandals referred to as taggers. Instead of taking like taggers and aerosol artists and putting them in two different contexts to put them together, and yeah, that's really detrimental to us because you know, the people who are piecing were older. You know, everyone that's in here doing this wall, you know, for these commercials is, uh, except for my younger brother, is everybody's over 20 years old. You know, these people have futures, they have dreams, they have hopes, there's things that they want to do. And as opposed to taggers where they're, you know, they're young, they're 12, 13 years old, they have, they don't know what's going on yet. And we have to be grouped with them. And it's really unfortunate because that makes us lose a lot of the chances that we could have. One of the biggest obstacles facing aerosol artists is the stigma of having the tools of their craft, spray cans, associated with graffiti, vandals, and gangs. I don't think uh, a whole lot of uh, gang members can just go up to a wall and put something like this up, just like that. As soon as I hear spray paint or aerosol, it's like, no, 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 we don't want any of that vandalism over here and they don't take the time to look. Even if you have a portfolio, oh, that's nice, but we don't want it here, you know? So it's like, if, you, if, you don't, if you're not a millionaire and can't make your own wall, then you're kind of stuck in a rut. They assume right away that, you know, just because of spray paint, that it's gonna be like graffiti, like vandalism or something. And, uh, you know, it could be, you could use it like a great medium, you know, to, to actually draw something nice. In addition to the murals painted for Fox Channel 6, these street artists have painted walls all around San Diego. In many instances, their murals have deterred taggers from vandalizing the painted walls. Finding walls to paint legally is often difficult, but each artist has an ideal wall in mind. 
the on wall on high five. I like to paint a mural downtown on one of the buildings. One of the buildings itself. Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere. Your your place. His place. <laughs> Large scale walls. Brick preferably. On walls where um people will see us. Oh, we'd like them to get us a place where we can uh, have, where we can paint, where the normal person can, the, the person who does question that can come see for themselves and, and judge for themselves if that's, you know, is it illegal, or, you know, is it wrong, is it right, you know, do I like it or I don't like it. Every blank wall is a potential canvas for these gifted young artists, but surprisingly, few walls are made available to them. Well, the attitude obviously needs to change, I mean, worldwide. Uh, there's got to be support for this type of art, not only this type of art, any type of art. A lot of times, we all just say, like, someone will say, who do you paint for? You know, we paint for ourselves and the writers. We'd like to say we paint for the public, you know, for people to see, for other people to appreciate it, and that's why we're all here, so we can get that chance. What's so amazing about these street artists is that without formal training, without financial or community support, and without sophisticated equipment, they've persisted in perfecting and pursuing their craft. We want people to see our work and uh, want our work. We want people to see it and they say, hey, I want that guy, you know? I want, I want him to do something for me. I want that lady, oh, can you paint my dog, please? You know, that's what we want. You know, we, want some, we want to be wanted. Fox Channel 6 salutes the talents of these young artists. <laughs>